was made this morning when I left. Pretty pillows. It was made. Why is it not made no more? Why is it not made? No, I told you to go potty. You no, you're supposed to be pottying. No. <gasps> okay. You can come inside. Okay. What's wrong with that bed? What did you do that in there for? What did you do that in there for? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey guys. Oh my hair. It is so bad. So I just got home from work. Um, I am about to go work out. And I come in here to change. And I see that someone has done us the pleasure of already turning down the bed for tonight. Pain in the butt. You're a pain in the butt, mister. But say, welcome to the vlog channel. Say welcome. And say subscribe. Okay. See, I'll give you kisses if you subscribe. And I'll give you all the kisses. Okay, you're being a little, <laughs> a little too extra. Okay, so tonight, um, we are not doing anything crazy for dinner. We're not doing anything crazy tonight. We're just making shrimp asparagus, uh, the, 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 shrimp asparagus and mashed potatoes. Um, I think I'm gonna make homemade mashed potatoes just because we have potatoes and I haven't used them in a while, so I wanna make sure that I use them before they go bad. Um, and Sam should be on his way soon. So we'll kind of see, but my main goal is to work out right now. I got my little slider discs in. Hey, fun fact, if uh, you've never used these things to work out, holy abs, holy abs, they hurt like OMG. Hold on. Like, eh, oh, 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 I was using a washcloth before, which you can totally use. It's just not ideal because after a while, like, you know, you obviously slip off of it, but it like, I don't know. It's just, I would have to get a clean washcloth to like use underneath my foot, but I got these discs. Tension, plastic side. So the foam side goes down on hardwood floor. Let's see, my floors are really dirty. Oh yeah, oh that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna be a pain. That's gonna, it's gonna be so painful. All right, but that will work. So, I gotta go work out. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, or I guess hello again, I don't know. Um, so I just got home from work and I went to the grocery store on my way home. Um, I figured I would do like a quick little mini grocery haul. I don't know. And tonight I am making, oh, I'm so excited. So it's Sam's favorite meal. Actually, I think that's him. Yep, that's him texting me back now. Um, so it's Sam's favorite meal. It is pepper jack cheese chicken. I think I've shared the recipe on a vlog before, but I'll share it here again. And he like jokes that this is the recipe that like when I cooked this for him, he was like, yep, gotta marry her. So it is really, really good. You could call it pepper jack chicken, pepper jack cheese chicken. I don't know, but basically you can do any cheese you want. We just prefer pepper jack cheese. It has to be sliced. It has to be. You can't do the um, shredded because I've done that before and it just doesn't. I don't know, it just doesn't have the same taste. The, it tastes, the consistency is different, I don't know. But I'll share that with you guys later. Um, I got more bagged chicken, like frozen chicken, because we got, back before quarantine started, my dad was at the grocery store and he was like, how many, like I'm gonna stock up on some stuff, is there anything you need me to get? And I said, get me some like bags of frozen chicken so it'll last for a really long time. And he said, all right, there's six pound bags, like how many do you want? And I said, grab me two. I don't think I had any concept of how much chicken was in like two frozen six pound bags. So that chicken has lasted us for so long and we're actually almost out. So it lasted us like, I think I wanna say it's like been two and a half months at this point. So um, these bags are only what, two and a half? Yeah, two and a half pounds each. So a little bit more reasonable, but I needed these. Like crazy, and it's full of chicken. 
so then I got steaks. You guys know probably if you follow me on Instagram, oh, like steak is my guilty pleasure and I, I could eat it every day. Um, this is the kind of, you really need the thick, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, like full, big chicken breasts. I've done chicken, like the little chicken tenders, um, or like cutlets with it. It's just not the same. So the thick chicken breasts is why I got two of these. Cause there's like three big ones each. And usually I make like, I make a whole big thing and it just gets better and better as time goes on. And then Sam was saying last night, he really wanted an Oreo pie, like one of those frozen ones. And so when I went to the store, I went to get him one. They didn't have it. So I got him cookies and cream because I'm a good wife. And then we were out of just ketchup. But also I needed chicken broth because this is like the only thing I put in the Instant Pot usually. I rarely put water in. Like obviously depending on what I'm cooking. But more often than not, it's the chicken broth. So that's what I got from the store. I got to put it all up. Um, I did today on my way home. I've been drinking the Premier Protein again. I forget how much I love that every time. I don't love the chocolate as much as the vanilla. I had to order more vanilla. It'll be here actually today. Um, but you get like two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup. And so when they hand you the cup, there's literally only like this much espresso in it. It's full of ice. It's this big cup. And then you dump the um, Premier Protein in it. It's really good. The vanilla with the espresso actually tastes like a like a caramel macchiato, but it's only like 160 calories. So good. Also, I ordered another bar cart. Last vlog, I know we talked about um, changing it out. Sam and I went back and forth. Like, <sighs> here's the thing. He, we both like the look of the bar cart, but he made a really good point. And he's like, I'm fine with it. I don't mind it. But he made a really good point. It only holds five bottles of wine, but it holds like four wine glasses total. And he's just like, that's not a lot. So I actually ordered one that holds like nine wine glasses um, and at least four bottles of wine. So I just ordered kind of a, it was a bigger bar cart, but that should be here for Monday, I think. And I will make sure that I link it below for you guys. It looks very similar. See, about to make Oh, you do love me. I forgot to tell you. I had a surprise. So they did not have Oreo pie. And I was thinking that was what you were talking about. Yeah. Of course I love you. Are you kidding me? Well, these are weird. Why are these shaped different? But, um, I don't know. They just, now you like can't find the Little. normal ones. Yeah. I so know. I got you this today. <laughs> Figured it would be a good night for you. You'd be so happy. I want that now. You what? I want now. My favorite dinner and dessert. Life of the year. Alrighty. I need a casserole dish or whatever these are going in. So. Because this is going to make a mess. Big old chicken breast. Sam is going to fillet them open. We've never done that before. So it's definitely not a necessity. But listen to him, whatever. You need one can cream of chicken soup. Your cheese of choice, we're doing, like I said, pepper jack. And then we will actually take this butter, melt it down, and pour it on top. You guys, this, oh, stovetop stuffing mix. This is literally the easiest recipe, like, of all times. We didn't put all these dishes away. I know, we really do. I was looking at them earlier. Scoop for me. Oh, no, these are. I'm going to link, I'll link these dishes for you guys. My mother-in-law got these for me. I think it was at a bridal shower, maybe, or was it Christmas? I have been Christmas. She got from Sam's Club, like two, three years ago. <laughs> Melt the butter. Okay. And then I need to get over here. So, while he's doing that, <laughs> You do take a can of cream of chicken soup. Let's see, come on. Don't make me do this. Get on another. You were all in my business today. Well, I'm done. That was the last thing I had to do. Okay, that one. It's not that much bigger than a can, but it'll work. Pour in a tiny bit of milk just to make this a little bit more 
liquidy. I don't even know where I found the recipe from on this a long time ago. Like, I, how long have you, would you say I've been doing this recipe, babe? You made this one of the first times I came over when we were dating. You and Ashley were at my house. Yeah. Really? Literally came over and it was you and Ashley hanging out, and I came over and. I didn't realize it had been that long. Yeah. All right, then take your chicken. Oh my gosh, take your cheese. And you literally just line. Probably top. You can see why this is super unhealthy because of what I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm literally putting like, I will put all five pieces of cheese on this stuff. Okay. And then. Take that cream of chicken mixture. I uh, honestly am a little scared to look at how many calories this thing has in it. Like it would it'd be a little scary. This is not a low calorie meal. <laughs> Put the dog down, Sam. There does my boy. Hey. So it should look like that about now. Where's my headphones? Last thing. Quit! Quit your sass, okay? Oh, on top of the um, TV console in that package. Lord, I've never done, I never met a man so sassy in my life. Oh, why is it open, Mom? You gotta check my mail for me? <sighs> because it had my name on it, son. You are in a mood. I am not feeling it. So, I use this stovetop turkey mix. Obviously, it's not gluten free. It's worth you can use like gluten-free um, if they have this. You can use breadcrumbs. It just won't be as flavorful because the thing that's so flavorful about this is the um, all of the seasoning. So you just take it and dump it all over. I always end up eating so much I feel sick. Yeah. So like he's, every time, never fails. Every time. He's, he's being serious. Why is it not focusing? It's focusing. Sam, <laughs> Sam will like eat himself sick of this stuff because it's it's just so good. So this is what it should look like when it's done. You, in order from bottom to top, chicken, the cheese, uh, the cream of chicken, soup with milk, the stovetop stuffing mix, and then butter. Now, stick it in the oven for about like an hour or until the chicken's done. So I'm gonna put it on about 50 minutes and then we'll see once it's over. So I'm gonna go work out. And I'll see you guys when it's finished. All right, this is what it looks like. It is so delicious, you guys. I wish you could smell it. You ready, babe? Let's eat. Hello, friends. Look who we have, our baby. Doug, where are we going? He doesn't know where we're going. He doesn't know that he's about to get some shots. Or a shot. Shot one, I think. I'll have to look when we get there. I can I can never remember what it's called until I see the sign. So we are taking him. There's this like it's like a traveling groom, not a groomer. It's a traveling vet basically. They don't do any grooming services. They only do like um, flea, heart stuff like that. Um, there's something else they do. They do it for cats. They basically just do no grooming but they go to like all these different places throughout the entire state and you just pick the date that's best for you and you take your baby, you go stand in line, they get the shots, they get the medicine, they get all the stuff they need. And that's where we're taking Doug, so he doesn't know. But I hope you guys are having a good day. It is beautiful but cold here. We are going tonight to see some friends of ours. We're gonna do burgers outside and we are going to social distance and like I said we're not gonna go inside and um it'll be interesting to see how this works we haven't seen him in like it's been two months almost probably mm, probably right no, at I've, two months I've seen Jacob oh yeah. I haven't seen the yeah. I haven't seen the girls since early early March so it's been like two months since we've seen them so I'm excited but um It'll be interesting to see how we like can do it outside without touching or getting near each other. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing right now. We'll keep you updated on little man, see if he does.
okay, I think he's kind of suspicious. Usually he's real happy to be in the car and he's kind of like, what, what's going on? Well, well, where are we going? They know, he knows. Really sad. All right, so Mr. Yelped. Where you be? Hey, Mr. Oh, he's mad. He's pouting he over is. there. He is so mad. He, so I think usually the doctor walks behind Zeus and Zeus doesn't usually see him. And so usually when he gets a shot, he's like, oh, what was that? Did I just get bit by a bug? Today he saw him approaching with something in his hand. And so he was like, stand close to him. So like sit, uh, Sam and I sit on either side of him and he yelped so loud. The other dogs were like, what? But we got to see five, six week old puppies. What kind of puppies were they? Um, oh, I can't remember, but they were so little. It's so cute. Uh, they're Chihuahua weenie dog mixes. Yes, that's what it was. And uh, they were bred dogs, obviously. And they're Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas, that's what it was she said. Um, so these were breeders. So I would just like to point out, Mr. Zuzu, that the six week old puppies did much better than you. Mm -hmm. They didn't yelp, they didn't cry, they didn't whine, and they were going to their homes today. So it was just, I don't know, they were so cute. But he got his medicine. Him good for him all good. He got shots. He's safe. Not gonna get heartworms. Not gonna get bugs. Guys, my husband Seth knows no boundaries lately. He is a sassy man. Okay, so I now have to. I just finished filming before we did the whole dog thing. I finished filming an Amazon video. That's tomorrow's video. I have to now film Thursday's video. And then I have to take some blog pictures for this week. So I figured I would share those with you guys. Um, like just kind of show you the backstory behind them. I don't even know if that's the correct word. I'm so tired. Because, so I'm doing a post on like different ways to style your Apple Watch. And then um, I also have like just cute ways to style your Apple Watch. I also am doing a post on my jewelry like what it means to me, where you can get similar pieces or where you can get the exact piece from depending on what it is. Um, excuse me because I get so many questions about those two things, my jewelry and like how you guys want to know like how to, oh my gosh, makeups, make um like an Apple watch look cute. So gotta get a really bad blister on my right foot and it I also have to take, actually I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I actually have to take a picture of some shoes that I got recently as well. Let me show them to you guys. They are so cute. They're these Sam Edelman shoes. They're like dupes for the Chanel. Um, they're not as nude as the Chanel shoes, but they have like a tortoise heel and then they have the Sam Edelman logo on each heel. Oh my gosh. I'm, these are like classic shoes. So I need to take um, I just have a lot I need to do today, so figured you guys could kind of see the backstory because I get questions from you guys sometimes about like what it's like to be like a blogger and or YouTuber. So this is my camera that I use um, for, so I use a Canon G7X. That's what you guys are looking at right now. Um, it is a basic really really good vlogging camera because you can change the brightness settings like for actually i have it on portrait mode yeah so i can just change the brightness really quickly like with a little turn of a knob um it, it's a really decent camera for vlogging but this is the eos rebel t6 it is not good for vlogging but it's really good for either like sitting still videos so for instance like my main channel it's good for like you're sitting still, you know, there's like nothing going on behind you. You're not moving a lot. Um, it's just a basic DSLR. I don't even know if it would even be considered a DSLR. It's so basic. Um, but it's the EOS Rebel T6. This is what we use for like outfit pictures, for product pictures. And then the lens that I have on here is the EW88 Canon. Um, I guess that's how you would describe it it has low aperture so it gives the pretty blurry background so that is what i'm going to take pictures of now 
and I'll just let you guys see the whole process. Also, in case you guys are ever curious, um, we, I do have links in the description bar below um, to stuff that we use for equipment. So like, I think the handheld tripod that you guys are sitting on is down there. Um, this is the tripod that I use. It's a Pullum photo, I guess, model TA11. That's what I use for this. But then I have like a cheaper one that I use for my phone. If ever I'm just like filming an Instagram story or something. And you don't need all of this if you are thinking about starting a blog or YouTube channel. I don't think I've talked that much about it. I literally used my dad's borrowed camera for like the first year and a half that I had um, a YouTube channel. And it wasn't until I like got monetized and started making money from YouTube that I um, bought my own camera. Okay, friends, so I need this camera. Come on, focus. Happy Mother's Day, by the way, to all the mommies out there. Um, but that's why we have like a very small window. I have to film two videos because we just got back from Mother's Day with my mom, and then we are going to go celebrate Mother's Day with my other mom, a mother-in-law. So, mister, or goodbye, what are you giving me them fish kisses for? He's in such a sassy mood lately. I think I've told you guys that though. We will see you guys in the next vlog. Subscribe below if you are new here. What are you looking at? Oh my gosh.